spring has sprung, Kelly. Spring has sprung, but is your dog ready? Here's everything you should know to make sure your pup is, uh, is safe for the spring Ooh. is uh, a vet, Lisa Lipman. Is it veterinarian or veterinarian? Veterinarian, just not veterinarian. Veterinarian. Not I'm veterinarian. Still fully confused. You, you said it. Veterinarian. Yes. Veterinarian. veterinarian. All right. Yeah, All right. Well, let's get to the vet talk. So, this is Bo, by the way, right? Bo, Hi, Bo. Yes, Bo. Oh, Bo's so, so cute. Sweetie. Oh, Bo. So, Bo has to get ready for spring. Yes, Bo. So, needs in order to Bo to get ready to for spring, we need to make sure that he is protected from fleas and ticks. Okay. And there is so much that you can be doing. Don't don't eat those. Are these though. the fleezers? Okay. Yeah, uh, those are the tweezers. Yeah, flea the flea tweezers. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you could use the fleezers. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, one of my favorite products to protect them against uh, fleas and ticks is a collar. So, the collar, this lasts for about eight months. I currently have this on my dog. I absolutely okay. love it. Um, my dog is really, really picky, so mm -hmm. she, I can't get her to take anything orally, but that is an option. So there are oral flea and tick preventions, and there are also topical flea and tick preventions, and you want to make like sure to just... I know. Puppies are <laughs> funny. I, I, oh I, puppies are unpredictable. I forgot. I'm I can't compete so with them. Right? I know. Yeah. I know. I can't compete with them. So um, uh, there are options. You want to make sure to talk with your veterinarian and see what's best for your pet. How do you it's, check it's, for the ticks? Yes. Yes. So checking for ticks. So you want to check for ticks mm -hmm. anytime you're in a high-risk area or your pet is outside. So I'm going to show you on Bo okay. here. Bo, can I detach? You? Oh, you're so cute, I know. So you want to make sure, I always, oh, don't, oh, I want to make sure you start systematically from the nose to the tail. So okay. make sure you take a good look around their eyelids, in their ears, underneath their mm -hmm. ears. What if your dog kisses? is super, you super kisses? fuzzy, furry, uh, furry, fuzzy? Yeah. You want to make sure you run your hands just across their fur, just all like this, and just feel for little bumps. So just feel them, and make sure to get under their armpits and in between their legs and underneath their tail. Okay, now so if you spot a tick, if you spot a tick, what does you Kelly should do? run yeah, into the away, street Kelly screaming, am I right? <laughs> well, I think ticks are going to take over the world. They carry more and more disease every year, and they're really hard to kill. So if you see one, you want to remove it as soon as possible. We think it takes at least 24 hours to transmit disease. Oh Don't let your dog eat the tweezer in the process. But basically, you're going to take the tweezer, you're going to grab the tick as close to the skin as possible mm -hmm. and pull gently and firmly. Don't squeeze really hard because you don't want to rupture the tick. It will spread disease that way. And then once you remove the tick, you can just wash the area with warm, soapy water. Um, no hydrogen peroxide is needed. That's definitely a myth. Uh, hydrogen peroxide is damaging to cells, prevents cellular healing, so not something we want to do. Okay, and so what, what, what should we look for like if we think that somehow our dog has been exposed to <laughs> A tick disease. Um, so things you want to look for are things just like general malaise, like not feeling well, so not eating, not wanting to move, shifting leg lameness, so maybe they are picking up one leg one hour and the next hour they're limping on the other leg. Uh, those are all pretty positive. Okay. Okay. Um, so what about uh, pesticides and like lawn. spraying in the lawn? There's always like, you know, certain mm -hmm. yards, like if you walk the dog, sometimes in Central Park there's like flags and I'm like what does that mean yes yes right? so important to know and they can be so tricky so um, actually over 65 percent of fields in the U.S. Oh. are sprayed with organic uh, with a uh, harmful chemical pesticides, yeah. and about half of people use pesticides for their lawns. So things that you can do uh, would be to make sure that your dog is staying off the grass. Watch for these signs like you mentioned. So this sign is kind of tricky actually. Any sign, if you're not sure, just stay away from that grass. But like this sign, for that example, looks is very like, tricky. It yeah, it looks, looks like happy. It's like, like the dog is like, hey, yeah. you can come on over exactly. here. But then if you read the fine print. Exactly, so it's just a pesticide treated area with the little so dog. And what about things think about your dog's outside, dog come inside, what happens, what do you <laughs> So when your dog is outside, one of the best things that you can do if you want to prevent any pesticide residue around your house or absorbing on their skin is to, yes. yes <laughs> we have these you. and these are like, yes. God, these are God's Everywhere. Exactly, wipe but them you down. Can't eat them. <laughs> No, you cannot. Um, and making sure that they don't get in your bed or on your couch or uh, they don't lick them off themselves. Okay, so. we're going to take a break. We'll come back. We're going to talk about allergies after this. Which everybody, whoa, allergy season now. How do you know if your dog has allergies? It is allergy season, especially for environmental allergies and flea allergies. So for environmental allergies, you're, we're going to be looking, dogs actually absorb allergens through their skin, whereas we inhale them through our respiratory tract. So we get like sneezy, itchy, watery eyes. They get itchy skin. So mm -hmm. they'll be licking their paws a lot. Oh. Places where touch that touch the ground, uh, so their paws, their bellies, their faces are very common places for them to lick and scratch and itch like crazy.
Okay. So Georgia is on the swim team, and uh, she's at lessons. But I never put sunscreen on Georgia. I heard sunscreen. we should be thinking about sunscreen yes, for our so dogs. Yes, so sunscreen. So there are sunscreens made specifically for pets. You want to make sure that they're fragrance-free and made specifically for pets because they, Even can with be, fur? they can be toxic. Yeah, so you can put them on places with fur, but you especially the want nose. to put them. Especially, and, and, and Bo here is a great example because he's white. So especially for lighter color dogs, mm. they're inside oh, of their yeah. Places that are hairless, mm. so their ears, their the bridge of their nose, mm -hmm. their be this this belly oh. is just oh the puppy belly. Oh. oh, is there anything <laughs> as good as the puppy belly? Oh. It's oh. just begging for sunscreen. Oh, we'll pixelate that. That was very shy today. <laughs> Sorry, Bo. That was very rude. Sorry yes. about that. Oh, suppose um, you. <laughs> but but that belly is just begging for sunscreen. Yeah. So it's yeah. it and dogs do get skin cancer and solar induced diseases like we do. So really important. And when they're out running around in the heat and the tongue is long, we have to be careful of heat strokes, right? So careful. Honestly, heat stroke is the worst emergency I have ever seen. It's extreme. Really? How do you um, know if your dog has heat stroke? Like so the signs can be really subtle at first. Uh, they can slow down. They don't want to move. They're panting like crazy. They've got red gums. Mm. Uh, they're drooling. Um, and and you just want to get to them way before that, especially dogs like who are flat-faced. They have a, a little bit of a harder time convecting air. So have lots of water. Keep them cool. And uh, if you're not sure, just keep them inside. Oh, great stuff. Well, thank you very much for coming. Good to Thanks see you. You are again. so <laughs> good at these segments. <laughs> on our website, you can go and check it out. Our good news story of the day is after the break. Thank you, Lisa. Even the dog on the table. If you would like to know more about anything you see online, just log on to our website at kellyandryan.com.